it's uh, indeed the uh, official opening of Journée Particulière, which uh, start in, uh, I don't know, like one hour, I think, in New Zealand, because it's a worldwide event um, where we open all our maisons during three days, transparently, and the public is welcome to come and visit uh, the atelier of Monsieur Dior, uh, uh, the atelier of Louis Vuitton, or uh, the vineyards that we have uh, all around the world. It's a wonderful event. Last time, last edition, because it's the fifth edition, uh, 180,000 people crossed the, the path of our, of our doors, and it was a, a beautiful moment where a lot of people ask questions, are very curious, and it's uh, something I'm very proud of. So it's the first since the pandemic, and there's, of course, still a lot of appetite for luxury, as your results showed a couple of days ago. But um, there's also a lot of clouds on the horizon with the talks of recession, the cost of living crisis, etc. So is, a little, is this now a little bit of a bittersweet moment to a certain extent? Listen, indeed, uh, there are clouds, but uh, as you said, our results are, uh, are not too bad. So we must be doing something right, and uh, the fact that... Uh, you know, our artisanship is so strong. The fact that we are so well diversified geographically and also in terms of uh, branches uh, means that uh, we are not averse to risk, of course, and we are not uh, immune, what is what I mean. But uh, at the same time, uh, if one geography goes a little bit less well, it can be counterbalanced by the other one. We see that right now with, uh, you know, the dollar being uh, uh, so uh, strong that uh, people you know, come uh, in Europe because the euro is weak and we had a lot of tourists here, uh, especially American tourists uh, during this summer. So all in all, I'm not saying, uh, you know, life is uh, perfect, but uh, business wise, we're quite confident for uh, the future. In luxury, there's high end and there's aspirational, the more entry level kind of prices. Is this kind of event helping you reach out to younger generations and bring that aspirational aspect of luxury? It's really not the goal of this event. This goal is just to valorize and magnify what we do in our atelier, our craftsmen, put them under the light because, you know, often they work uh, in solitary uh, mode. Uh, they're, they're in an atelier that are close to the public. Um, so really the objective is not that. However, sometimes, you know, the young generation comes, they line up and they're, uh, for one weekend, really interested in what we have to show. So it's a good sign, I think. Uh, it shows that our our crafts are uh, interesting for that younger generation, but it's non-commercial, it's completely free, and it's something that we don't really think of when we create this, uh, this event.